Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we're playing the Total War Warhammer 2 Battle Replay. So uh, in this one, this is actually from uh, Turin Stream the other day. Um, he hosted uh, me and Delve playing a best of three, and we decided, um, you know, gentleman's agreement, that we do a autogen series, So, um, which is always fun. Uh, you know me, I like my autogen. So uh, here is an autogen Wood Elves against an autogen Skaven, and I've got to say, I kind of lucked out with this one. This is pretty great for dealing with Skaven. Um, it's not very wide, but... It'll do. Um, I've got all the tools. So war dancers will just wreck most infantry. Um, they have a bit of trouble with storm vermin, but chances are autogen's going to have me up against a lot of slaves and clan rats. So that's pretty great. Also the treekin, they are so resilient. Um, they'll just refuse to die. Um, it's only really the big hitters, you know, the artillery and the sort of globadiers, stuff like that, that will have any threat to the treekin. These guys are just so survivable. So uh, they'll be able to pin, you know, as much stuff in place as Dove throws at them, which is pretty great. Um, also, you can see I've got some Hagbane tips. These guys will be nice. Um, you know, not a lot of armor piercing on them, but, you know, poison and uh, yeah, plenty of ammo and yeah, they'll just clean up, basically. Pretty great. Also, I've got Starfire Shafts for some armor piercing, so that is also nice. Um, also, you can see here, I've got the Sisters of Thorn. These guys are my favorite units. You know, those buffs and debuffs they get for free are vital. They are so useful. So, uh, these guys will be great and also very maneuverable, and uh, that physical resist makes them really useful, too. Uh, also, you can see, I have a Glade Lord. Uh, it's the male variant. Uh, he's on an eagle. He's accompanied by another great eagle, which is pretty cool. So, I've got a bit of a goon squad going on. Also, I have a Waystalker for a bit of sniping. And uh, I've also got Wild Riders with shields. So, with shields, is really nice. If there's a lot of, uh, you know, gutter runners and things like that, um, they won't take as much missile damage while they're, you know, closing the distance. So, that's going to be really useful. So, uh, I've got a pretty great army here. I'm pretty happy. Did I mention the Wildwood Rangers? Might have done. Either way, load of armor piercing. And uh, these guys are just, just really good units. Uh, they'll do great against Storm Vermin. Um, so I've kind of got everything covered. I've hiding them in the trees for now so they can get sniped out early in case of artillery. Um, but yeah, um, I think these guys will be priority for artillery to be honest. But luckily, uh, Darv didn't have any, which I was absolutely overjoyed about. So as you can see, he's basically got slaves in the front line. So a load of slaves. In the back, it's all clan rats. He's got spears on the sides um, to watch out for cavalry. But um, as you can see, it's pretty balanced, you know? Same amount of <laughs> of uh, Skaven slaves and clan rats as one another. And uh, almost... Uh, yeah, a few more spears in the front, but, you know, nice symmetrical line there, which is pretty cool. So also he's got a warp fire thrower. My tree can have to watch out for that one. And also they're going to have to watch out for the Death Globe Bombardiers. Although these guys are tagged as sort of anti-infantry, um, they do so much more damage than the anti-large variant that even against large targets, they do basically the same. Um, but, of course, because they do more damage and they don't have a, you know, anti-armor, like anti-infantry um, or large bonus, it works out about the same as the uh, Poison with Globadiers against large, but they're better against infantry. So, it's pretty cool. So, uh, also you can see Stormvern with Halberds. Um, these guys are going to hurt. Um, they're going to be quite difficult to take down by, uh, you know, war dancers. Um, they just can't get through the armor very well. Even though it's not a huge amount of armor, it's, I think, 90? Yeah. Um, but they're still going to be hard to take down. They're going to be very resilient. But um, no shields. So hopefully, Starfire Shafts will get through them pretty quickly. He's also got a Hellpit Abomination, which is really cool to see. You don't often see these guys. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of nice to have, I think. Um, and yeah, they're very resilient. They're very hard to kill, so that'll take a lot of my time. Also, he's got a Doom Wheel, which obviously, if I let, you know, just run through all my War Dancers, it's going to get a lot of value. Or even my Archers, so I need to watch out for him. Also, you can see he's got some Rat Ogres. He's also got a Gracier, a Plague, and an Assassin. So, very interesting army here for both of us. So let's speed things up and see how it goes. Oh, and I must say, um, yeah, here, um, I've got the red health bars, he's got the green. Uh, Darv had to send me the replay. Um, so I am the Wood Elves, and, um, but yeah, um, as you can see, this looks like the friendly team. It, nah, it's the other way around. Uh, this is Darv's replay that he, uh, he saved. I forgot to save mine. Whoops. So, uh, straight away, as you can see, um, I didn't, I didn't take them off fire at will. Um, I'm happy just to get some damage into the front line, because it's a big front line. So I wasn't sure how, how well these guys would handle it. Um, but if I was able to do some damage to the front, then maybe I'd get it over, you know, sort of... I'd get it over and done with in the front a little earlier. But, now that the uh, Death Glow Bombardiers are in range, I want to take them down. These guys can be very deadly. Um, it's going to limit where I can take my Eagles, because if they get some good hits on, uh, you know, a stationary Eagle, that Eagle is doomed. So I want to get rid of him, nice and quick. So, uh, here, I charge in. And uh, you see the tree kin will just hold in the center, and the war dancers are going to cut through these slaves in no time, and the clan rats shouldn't be... Uh, shouldn't be great either. But here you can see the Doom Wheel is running in this way. So I've got some armor piercing here and I'll be able to follow up with the Sister of Thorn. Over on this side, I wanted to stop these guys getting around the side, so I had to throw my Eagles into these guys, um, you know, for starters, which is a bit of a shame. But you can see I have postured my uh, uh, Wild Riders in the trees over here. 
So they're around the back, so I can, you know, opportunistically attack someone in the rear. Uh, over here, the Wardiles have actually chased into this blob, but luckily his clan rats and slaves are chasing me as well, which is really fortunate for me, because he could have just peeled off and, you know, gone for my uh, Glade Guard here, which would have been a bit of a nuisance. So here the Doom Wheel got a little bit caught out, took quite a bit of damage, but he hasn't broken or anything yet, which is really annoying, and now he's getting to my archers. And now you can see the infantry are coming in to stop him. So the Wildwood Rangers are going to have to deal with these Skaven slaves before they do anything else, and, uh, yeah, I need to pull my uh, archers out of there. But, with the uh, Scissor Thorn chasing, he's just going to charge into my front line to try and break these guys. So you can see the Wild, uh, sorry, the wild Riders managed to charge in the side, and a lot of stuff is now broken here. Um, the Grace Era Plague, I was firing at, so uh, he's taken a ton of damage, which is also great for me. So that's one routing Lord already. Bit of a chain route happening, a lot of damaged units fleeing. But this side has managed to break free, and they did a load of damage to my Glade Lord and my Eagle, uh, mainly because of the Spears and the Assassin. So here you can see they're trying to get on my archers, and I can't have that. But I've got Sister the Thorn in here, and uh, I've still got my eagles, I've got my Waystalker, so I've got a lot of strength around here just to charge in again and get my archers out. But that is some damage to my archers that I would rather have not taken. Uh, over here you can see my uh, War Dancers and Wildwood Rangers are doing well dealing with these guys, and amazingly, the Treekin. I mentioned to hold up against the Hell Pit Abomination. I thought the Hell Pit Abomination would be a pretty good counter to Treekin, but no, they are just so resilient. Um, it's pretty unbelievable. So here the Doom Wheel is coming in now. Um, I have managed to break these guys. Um, unfortunately, not the uh, Assassin yet, but now I'm starting to shoot at the Doom Wheel with my Glade Lord, and I'm going to double the Sister Thorn back to finally break this unit, hopefully. Um, it might take a little bit of time, though, because uh, it's pretty comfortable in here fighting all these... Uh, these archers. is getting some good damage, so that's going to keep his morale up. So, uh, what else is happening? Over here, you can see I had the Wild Riders trying to deal with the uh, Rat Ogres, because I want to get rid of them. They're very manoeuvrable. Um, and my archers are kind of busy at the moment, so I can just focus fire on them. But it means my Wild Riders took a load of damage, because there are Halberds in here. There are Spears somewhere. I think they might have broken already. Uh, oh, maybe not. Okay, maybe the Spears... I don't know. If they were there, they have gone. But anyway, I managed to break the Rat Ogres, which is good news. And uh, so I've charged um, the Wild Riders into the back here, um, trying to help out, get rid of these Storm Vermin. I know it's risky, but as you can see, they are wavering, and uh, my War Dancers probably can't han like handle this for much longer. Over here, I'm afraid I think I missed it, um, there was the dreaded 13th spell. So uh, these Storm Vermin summoned, and it basically wiped out the remaining War Dancers that were in this fight. Luckily, my Treekin don't care, they're still going. Uh, but my Wilded Rangers are out as well. But the Treekin can hold here very well, and uh, the Storm Vermin will be just crumbling as I'm running away. So I'm trying to slow them down a bit with the Waystalker, and you see they took the baits. They're now attacking, and I can just fire at them with my archers. And now that I've fired them with the archers, they're, they're buckling very quickly. So uh, here you can see I actually used the uh, Aura Kurnos to get a big chunk of damage off that um, Hell Pit Abomination. Because chances are I was going to hit with all three um, of the missiles there, so he's going to do some pretty good damage. So um, over here you can see the Assassin is back. Uh, my Eagle, I think, had chased off someone. Um, oh yeah, there's some more clan rats hanging out there. War Dancers are coming back in, but my infantry are all really haggard. I don't really have much left in terms of infantry, but I've got a very healthy unit, Assist of Thorn. Uh, my Glade Lord is still alive, my Eagle is still alive over here, and uh, I do have some Wild Riders, but mainly my archers can provide so much killing power. So I've got a load of maneuverable units that can just keep charging things to slow them down and, uh, you know, stop them trying to chase down my archers. And then my archers could just kill stuff. So here you can see I'm focusing on uh, the Hell Pit Abomination with some of my units. Um, I was firing into here to try and do some damage to the Storm Vermin. Because, um, you know, without the shields, it's good to do some damage to them. So here you can see, finally, that Hell Pit Abomination died. It did actually get that big health replenishment when I injured it initially. Um, but then I managed to take it down to zero again, and now it spawns some Skaven Slaves, because Hell Pit Abominations. Ugh. So anyway, here, um, I use my Glade Lord to run in here. Um, does he cause terror? No, just fear, but that is enough to, you know, really help here. And he can do a big chunk of damage as he runs. So uh, here, uh, what's happening? Oh yes, this is the next big interesting thing. His assassin ran in, used trophy heads on my Waystalker, but at that point, there was enough space around my archers that I could just have them concentrate fire. So uh, now he's dealt with, I can then change targets to the Storm Vermin. So I'm going to throw the Waystalker into the Storm Vermin to help slow him down, but it looks like they're going to break before he needs to get there anyway. So that's pretty great. I am out of ammo with the Waystalker though, which is a bit of a pain. So uh, now the Storm Vermin are dealt with. Amazingly, the Treekin are still going with 11 units, which is just crazy. These guys are so resilient um, against, you know, Skaven infantry. Against all the sort of scary artillery and things, they don't hold up so well, you know? Because most of it is sort of magic attacks and things, and that just cuts through, uh, you know, magical fire. And that just cuts through Treekin really badly. But he didn't have artillery, so 
the treat kid were basically safe once I took out the Globadiers and the Wart Fire Throwers. So that's pretty great. So here I'm using my Sister Thorn just to try and round up some of these units, which is very useful. And, uh, oh, and another thing we missed, um, I managed to finish off that Assassin. Um, I think he's, is he there? Is that him? Is that him running? There he is. Um, I managed to shatter him with an arrow of Kurnos, which is pretty nice. So uh, here, um, you can see my uh, Great Eagle is coming in, uh, chasing down some Clan Rat Spears, but they've shattered now. And here, this was a hilarious move by Dove. He managed to sneak the Grace here right around, so he could summon some rats on top of my uh, archers. But unfortunately, I spotted him and immediately turned to face him, because I was trying to find where his Grace here had gone for a while there. So uh, here, managed to shatter him, and unfortunately, um, that means the summon has also shattered. Um, army losses is hit, and uh, as you can see, valiant defeat. Um, hang on a minute. Uh, yes, it's his replay, remember. So, um, here we go. Let's look at the breakdown. So, uh, as you can see, War Dancers just cut through hundreds of their infantry. Um, the Wildwood Rangers didn't quite get as many kills because they got Dreaded 13th spelled, which was very painful. But, you got to remember, they were fighting the Doom Wheel at the start. They did a lot of damage to the Doom Wheel. So that definitely helped. Um, so these guys, they weren't a waste, I don't think. Um, also, you can see the Wild Riders absolutely cleaned up. Sister Thorn did a great job. Um, you can see they earned a Silver Chevron, although it's auto, it's auto gen, so I have no idea how many Chevrons she had to begin with. Hmm. Yeah, that always baffles me. Um, it's weird when I don't put Chevrons on. I never know quite where everything stands. But um, I feel like they earned it. So uh, also, Treekin, 83 kills. Um, Treekin don't usually get a lot of kills, but they were so resilient. Um, that, yeah, they were just in the fight the entire time. So those kills slowly ticked up. But the fact that there was just constantly a unit in the middle of the map that was refusing to go down um, is just so useful when you're relying on archers, you know, to get the job done. But you've got to remember, the Treekin, they were fighting a Hellpit Abomination who's a massive monstrosity, does a ton of damage, and is anti-large. And yet, they only lost a single model. And that is just crazy, right? So, um, yeah, Treekin might be pretty valuable um, just to have a unit or two in uh, in a matchup like this. Because, yeah, I mean, that performed brilliantly. Um, they just weren't going anywhere. So, pretty fantastic. Archers did a great job. They managed to break, you know, all the most expensive units. They took out the Globadiers. They took out the Hellpit Abomination. Um, I mean, they kind of helped against the Doom Wheel a bit. But um, mostly it's because the Doom Wheel was focused on them. Um, they didn't really get many shots off on the Doom Wheel. It was more the other units that helped. Um, but the Storm Vermin got taken out. The Summoned Storm Vermin got taken out. The Gracier got taken out. The Assassin got taken out. Um, the Warp Fire Throwers got caught by the Wild Riders, I think. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty crazy. I just had all the tools I needed to deal with Skaven. And uh, the only thing that could have probably you know, cause serious grief for me would have been a warp, uh, warp lining cannon, which unfortunately Darth just didn't roll. So, um, real pity there, but man, it was fun. That was such a fun battle. Uh, really tense, and it lasted a lot longer than we all thought. We all thought it'd be over pretty quickly one way or the other. Um, so yeah, definitely a tense match, and some beautiful plays by, uh, by Darth there with the dreaded 13th spell finishing off my infantry. And, uh, yeah, having the Grey Seer sneak through the woods. You know, just a little too late, but that was that was pretty fun. Great use of him. You know, he could have just charged him in and sort of sacrificed him at that point. But no, no, he wanted to get that last summon off, try and deal with my archers. And uh, that's admirable. Absolutely love it. So, uh, yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this, please do comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, there is a link to... Um, uh, Darth's channel here, in uh, probably on the screen now, and also in the description. And uh, Torin, once again, thank you for hosting us. Congratulations on the 30k. Um, that is huge news. Well done, dude. And uh, also, I hope you enjoy your time in Poland. And uh, guys, I will see you in the next one. Have a good one, guys.